Palpatine protection. Mm. We want to welcome you, Holy Spirit. You are our comforter and our counselor. Hallelujah. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Let's sing that again. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your With your power, live inside of me. You're the living water. You're the living water. Ever flowing fountain. Comforter and counselor. Take complete control. died and rose again even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with them for this we say for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of archangels, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are asleep and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. We want to, we would have hoped that you would have received a program when you would have entered the sanctuary. I invite you to be seated, first of all, so we can do some housekeeping matters. I invite you to be seated. The pastors, elders, and members of the Clifton Seventh day Adventist Church express their heartfelt condolences to the family of the late, the late Robert McDowell. We want to remind you that should you require any service of the church, whether it be counseling, as you grieve the loss of your loved one, the church is more than willing to make ourselves available. As it relates to housekeeping matters, if you have your cell phones on, we ask that you kindly put them on a vibrate or silent. We ask that those who are seated within the congregation that as best you keep your mask on. We want to remind you or inform you rather that our restrooms are located to the back of the building. The two stalls are not labeled. They are not gender labeled. So you use a stall that best suits you. Should you need clarity on any matter, feel free to speak with the, our head deacon, Ness, who is located at the door. Sister Karen, you just... I'm going to ask you to wave. Anything you're not sure of, feel free to ask her. We are now about to sing our opening hymn. Oh Lord my God, in what I in awesome wonder, consider all the worlds thy hands had made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder. Thy power throughout the universe is plays as we stand and sing together, how great thou art. O oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder, consider all the world I had made. 
I hear the star, I hear the rolling thunder, I pour to all the universe is made. Then sing my soul, my Savior God to thee. Oh, how great a And when I think that God his son not sparing sent him to die he bled and died to take away my sins to take away my sin then sings my soul then sing my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sing my soul my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come, when Christ shall come, with shout of acclamation, with shout of proclamation, and take me home, take me home. What joy shall fill my heart Then I shall bow in humble adoration Then I shall bow with the And take proclaim My God of oh great the world Then sings my soul Then sing my soul My Savior God to thee how great thou art, how great thou art, then sing my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Hallelujah, hallelujah, shall we bless the name of the Lord, shall we call him by his name? You look like some person not sure why I'm named Elder. Can I ask them again? Shall we call him by his name? Jesus. Indeed, indeed. You may be seated. As you would have had your programs in hand, and you would be following the... From the first session to the remembrance will be... We will take them on and on. So the first lesson comes to us by Donna Johnson. We then 
moving to a solo to be done by Victor Patterson. The second lesson comes to us from Georgia Wilson, a friend of the deceased, and the remembrance will be done by Miss Monica Lawrence. We, oh, thank you, Wallace. Ah, that means you're reading. Very good. We invite Miss Donna Johnson to kindly come with the first lesson. Um, please allow us to get a mic to you, um, Ms. Johnson. Sister Karen, we're going to, we, we normally have the mic sanitized before we, Ms. Johnson, we're going to sanitize the mic, then we, thank you. Okay. Our first lesson we're taking from Ecclesiastes, the um, chapter 3, from 1 to um, 9. Right. So everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stone and a time to gather stone together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and time to speak. A time to love, a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. Alas, I am. What profit has he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? Greetings. Greetings. No, I must first make apology here for what I heard or see a while ago with the musicians. If the G or an E or F must play in line. Because I couldn't follow the music a while ago. I have to stop. I have to stop. The music was ahead of me, so I have to stop. But in future, my name is Victor Patterson, I sit on the program, and I attend a church. I think I know where music is concerned. And I'm here today on behalf of Mr. McDowell, a good friend of mine passed away. And uh, I don't know where to start. I just don't know where to start on my tribute. But all I know, he has a nephew. He has a nephew. Which stands from start to finish. When he is at work, and I call him, I said, Robin, he said, PJ, I leave, no, I have to go, I spin. Robin will come, and come home, and cook, and come dinner to him. I'm telling you as it is. I'm telling you as it is. And he's turned with his uncle from start to finish. But this is just a little bit that I can say. Now, I'm here to give a tribute. 
don't know. I'm just asking for your cooperation without the music. When my life grow red, precious Lord, linger near. When my life is almost gone, hear my cry. Lest I fall, take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on. When the shadows appear and the night dry it near, and the day is past and gone. At the river I stand, guide my feet, hold my hand, take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand, I am tired, I'm weak and warm, through the storm, through the night, lead me on. The light, take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on, precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand, I am tired, I'm weak, and worn, but through the storm in the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise now the second lesson is taken from 1 Corinthians 15, reading from verse 51 to 58. Behold, I shew you a mystery. We shall not all pass. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this incorruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immorality. But when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immorality, then shall be passed, brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, 
unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the reading of the word of the Lord, and everyone say, thanks be to God. We now invite Miss Monica Wallace, sister-in-law of the deceased, to do the remembrance. Hello everyone, I'm so happy to be in the house of God, but on the other side, I'm so sad. I have known Mr. Henry McDowell for nearly 30 odd years. Why I know Mr. Henry McDowell? Because of my sister. He has been a good person, a person of character, a person can work hard, a person who understands, a person who loves, a person who cares, a person when you are dumb, he is there for you. So I just want to tell the family, so keep up, because God loves you, but God loves him more. That's the reason why he has taken home. I just have a few words to say. Don't grieve for me, for I am free. I am following the thoughts of God laid for me. I took his hand. When I heard him call, I turned back and left it all. I could not stay another day. Talks have left undone. Still stay that way. I found that peace at the closers of the day. If my parting has left a void, then fill it with remembrance, joy, a friendship, share, a laugh, Ah, a kiss. All these things too will miss. Be not burdened down with times of sorrow. I wish for you the sunshine of tomorrow. My life be full, save you much. Good friends, good times, love one touch. Perhaps my time sit out to breathe. Don't let me in now with underdue grief. Lift your heart and share with me. God's want me now. He set me free. Don't say I gave up. Just say give in. Don't say I lost the battle. For it was God's work to lose or win. And want no more than I deserve. No extra. Just my due. Don't be concerned about me now. I am well with God. I have made it home. Don't say what could have been. It's over and it's done. Lift up your heart and share with me. God's want me now. He set me free. Don't be concerned about me now. I am well with God. I have made it home. Mr. Henry, I am well with God and he made it home. We're now at this segment of the Thanksgiving service where we're all free to participate. We'll be collecting an offering. The offering will go towards the church building fund. I ask my deacon and deaconess to stand in place. While the offering is collected, we'll be singing this song in the program, The Lord's My Shepherd. It is sung to the happy wanderer. Can you help me, um, Elder? What's the tune? Happy Wanderer? Tune, I think. Yes, I think that's how it's sung. But we're going to pray first before we collect. Your heads are bowed, your eyes are closed. Our Lord and Savior, we come this afternoon giving you thanks because you are the giver of life. Though we're here with mixed feelings, Lord, we want to give you thanks that you are touched with the feelings of our infirmity. We pray that as your people would have come to bring an offering to you, Father, that you will bless what they would have given, and it will go to the furtherance of your cause. 
We want to give you thanks for your love that surpasses our, our understanding. In your precious name we pray. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastor's green, he leadeth me the quiet waters by. The Lord's my shepherd, I not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastor's grief, he leadeth me the quiet waters by. He lead, he lead. I know that my redeemer, yes, he lead. He lives, he lives within my heart. Indeed, do you believe that Jesus lives? One songwriter said, God is not dead, but I feel it in my. Some people are not sure where they feel it, you know. I know I feel it all over me. Indeed, God is not dead, but. He is indeed alive. We serve a risen Savior and he's in the world today. The other item on the program says open tributes. It's labeled one to four. So I'm assuming we can take as much as four representatives, each not exceeding one and a half to two minutes. I know some of you would have come with a very, maybe five or six sheets to give your tribute, but in the interest of time, we ask that you make your open tributes short and precise. Some of us would have been close companions with the late Robert McDowell and you would want to share with the family who is left behind your thoughts of Brother Robert. We are able to take up to us your sister making her way to God be the glory. Let us give her a hearty amen. Share with us your name and how you would have known the deceased. Then you get into your tribute system. They are longing for heaven, green show. Where heart takes our left far behind them and burdens are carried no more one morning I walk by the river I rest need the evergreen tree so I carry my cross through the midnight. One morning there's glory for me. One morning I walk by the river. I rest near the evergreen tree. So I carried my cross through the midnight. One morning, one morning, one morning, there's glory. Praise the Lord, amen. As you would have come to the lectern, kindly share your name with the church and your relation to the deceased. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Javisha Francis and I'm a friend of Henry. And I'm here to sing a song. 
When I am down and turn my soul so weary When trials come and my heart return be When I am still and break in the silence Until you come and see the world with me You raise me up so I can stand on mountain You raise me up to walk in stormy seas I am strong when I am on your shoulder you raise me up to walk in stormy seas. Amen. Right, we have room for two more. The program allows us four tributes. We invite the other two persons to kindly make their way to the lecture. Praise, praise the Lord as your sister on her way. Sister, can you push the lid, the lever up? I'll tell you. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Paulette, I live across from Mr. Henry. Um, what do you care about Mr. Henry now? Man, quiet. Quiet, bad. Quiet, too much. But a good man. Yeah. You understand? So, no, I'm not more for the same, just nice. Yeah. To me. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Sister Paulette, who lives across the road. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm Carl. I guess no phone no say, Mr. Henry, I'm a father. Right? All right. From about 15 years now, I know Mr. Henry. Everything I'm doing in my life is Mr. Henry. Some people say, Mr. Henry, I'm a father, especially my wife. So, Mr. Henry, I'm a father. I meet Mr. Henry, daughter, on the phone. Mr. Henry, I love you. I'm going to miss you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I want to thank the four individuals who came forward. Uh, as you said, they were called on the impromptu, but they rose to the occasion, and we want to say thank you. We're now going to move into a solo, which will be done by a friend of the deceased. It's Miss Karen Henry in house after Karen sings and blesses our heart. George Maxim comes to us with a eulogy. Good afternoon, everybody. All right. Um, I'm a friend of um, the deceased, and I'm happy to be here then now. Thank you. I went to the house where I used to live. The grass has grown and it covered, covered the door. Someone across the street said I knew who you see. Oh, they, they don't live here anymore. No, they don't. They are somewhere around the throne of God. Somewhere around the throne of God. 
I keep searching, keep on searching until I shall find them. They are somewhere around God's throne. I went to the church where I used to go. The preacher, he was still there and he met me at the door. He said, I knew who you are and I knew who you're looking for. But they they don't come here anymore no they don't they are somewhere around the throne have got somewhere around the throne have got I keep searching keep on searching until I shall find them, they are somewhere around God's throne. They are somewhere around the throne of God. Somewhere around the throne of God I keep searching keep on searching until I shall find them they are somewhere around God's throne oh Pleasant afternoon, everyone. Eulogy for the late Robert Elric McDowell, affectionately called Henry, born 1950, son of Avis Rooms and Ishmael McDowell. He was the fourth child for his parents. Henry grew up in a small district called Ockers Hall, St. Catherine where he attended the St. Mary's All Age School. He was an humble and quiet child. Growing up, he and his brothers had to accompany their father to the field to gather food to take back home for their mother to prepare. In his spare time, watching his uncle repairing motor vehicle was his greatest joy. He then decided that mechanical engineering was what he would do so he would start practicing by making hand carts and he along with his other siblings would take turns in driving it up and down the road in the early 70s henry decided to launch out and make something of himself so he moved to kingston where he learned the skill of mechanical engineering after the course, he was a certified mecha mechanical engineer, sorry. So he was employed by the Jamaica Omnibus Services Limited, otherwise known as the Just Bus Company, where he worked for a few years. One day while working, he met the lovely Joan Simpson, where they started a relationship and later produced a beautiful baby girl and they named her Marcia. She was the love of his life. No one could be compared to his priceless daughter. As years went by, he was made redundant by the Just Bus Company. He was then hired by the Kingston Ice Company, where he performed the duty of a mechanical engineer. After a while, he and Joan separated. 
and he formed a new relationship with Victoria Wallace, known as Doreen or Loreen. They moved to the Nagoya district where they lived for several years before relocating, sorry, before relocating to Quarry Hill. Henry became the caretaker of his common law wife, Victoria, when she fell sick and lost her sight. He too started getting weak, so whilst doing his nightly routine by locking up, on the night of June 21st, tragedy struck. When he lost his balance and hit his head, he was then rushed to the hospital the following morning, June 22nd. Unfortunately, he did not recover. He died leaving common law wife Victoria, his daughter Marcia, granddaughter Kylie, nephews Robin and Marky, other relatives and friends. My friends, you might think that he has gone too soon, but God knows best. So Marcia, keep on holding the faith. God bless you all. Amen. Thank you, Georgette. As I just a <clears throat> note of, of observance, as I look through the program after Georgette would have given us the eulogy, and I turn, I'm seeing the recessional hymn. What is missing, church? Come on now. What is missing, church? You are so correct. Not because it's not in the program, it doesn't mean that we're not going to have it, right? Because I'm assuming this is a type of by heaven's gate funeral home but without further delay we have somebody who is appointed to bring the word of god to us this afternoon just to give you a brief overview of the individual he's not jamaican by native he's originally from nigeria he came to jamaica and not only discovered sun sea and sun but decided that he had to do his work here in this part of the vineyard. He's been with us ever since he came to Jamaican soil, and I hope he has no intention of leaving. I present to you the first elder of the Clifton Seventh-day Adventist Church, Elder Emerazel Akidenor. I pray that as he stands in the gap between God and his people, he will give the wind a mighty voice. But before Elder Akidenor comes to us, we'll be favored by special music from the Clifton Seventh-day Adventist Church, and the next voice you hear will be that of Elder Emerazel Akidenor. Amen? My musicians, are you ready for me? In time like this, we need a Savior. In time like this, you need an uncle. Be very sure, be very sure, your anchor hold and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be very sure. Be very sure. Your anchor and grips the solid wrong in time like this we need the bible in time like this oh be not idle be very sure, be very sure, your anchor hold and grips the 
solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus. The only one, be very sure, be very sure, your anchor hold and grips the solid rock in time like this. Have a savior in time lighting. You have an hunger, be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor oh, and grips. The solid rock, this rock is Jesus, yes, he is the one, this rock is Jesus, the only one, be very sure. Be very sure your anchor and grips the solid rock. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you this afternoon for your guidance, for your love, for your protection for the family of Mr. Robert McDowell. Lord, even as we go through this funeral service, we are asking, Lord, that you console everyone that is distressed at this time. Lord, we are asking that you comfort them, that you take care of them, you hold them in the palm of your hands. Even as we go to the graveside, Lord, we are asking for journey mercies, we are asking for your protection. Lord, henceforth, we proclaim that you are our God. Without you, our life is a waste. Lord, we Use this opportunity, O oh God, to remember the daughter of the departed Robert McDowell. Lord, I am asking that you protect her household. Lord, that you rest upon them, that your guiding angels will be upon her household. In Jesus' name we pray. You can do better. Say amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, this afternoon, I am not going to take much of your time because uh, when we come for a funeral, it's not really a time to speak too much. I believe that so many of us here have been, in one way or the other, in a church, right? Oh, I believe that we are all Christians in this place because Jamaica is a Christian country. Is that not so? Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, this today, I will just be sharing with us on funerals. Funerals. I have come to discover, especially elder, where I come from, and in Jamaica, there there seems to be some similarities. Where the only time we remember our loved ones is when they die. We sometimes are too busy. To remember those that we love. Now with the advent of the cellular phones, which you call your cell phones, 
just a little message can heal a soul. But what we have discovered, and this time of COVID has really revealed a lot of things to us, that we cannot be too busy for ourselves. I'm bringing you this news today, and I want us to remember, because a funeral service is actually made for the living, those who are alive. Mr. Robert McDowell, no matter what you say to him now, he can't hear you anymore. The Bible says that it is appointed unto a man once to die. We all have one life to live right here. So when you have a family, when you have a son, when you have a daughter, when you have a mother, when you have a father, the best time for you to show that you love them is now. Praise the Lord. Now, when you look at the world today, we live in a terrible times. I'm not sure we who live in this part of the world, in this beautiful island, we don't recognize it. But I want to tell you that more than 4.7 million people have been confirmed with the coronavirus in the United States alone. And 17.9 million people have been confirmed with the virus worldwide. And 157,000 people have died in the United States of America alone. And in the world as a whole, 685,000 people have died. And in Jamaica, we've only lost 10 people. Isn't that the grace of God? It is a time for us, as the people who live in this island, to be appreciative of the grace that God has extended to us. Now, I am not here today to condemn you because I believe that all of us sitting down here are Christians. And I believe that we are the children of God. We may not be where we want to be yet. But we are striving to be in that place. Now, I just want us, if you have your Bibles. I know sometimes people don't come to a funeral service with a Bible. But I am a man of the Bible. And I love for people to read the Bible. I don't read the Quran. Because if you are a Muslim, you read the Quran. Not so. Right? The Muslims read the Quran. They even have it in their pockets, in their handbags, wherever they are going. But sometimes elder Christians are ashamed to bring out their Bibles. But today we are going to be reading the Bible. So if you are sitting close to somebody with a Bible, you have a cell phone, I just want you to please open it. We are going to be reading the Bible. How many of you wants to read the Bible? If you want to read the Bible, please can you raise your hand? Praise the Lord. I want us to go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 50. Remember, I am not going to keep you here today. If you want to hear more preaching, I want you to pay us a visit we worship on a Saturday. I know all of us here, so there are some people who don't worship on a Saturday. God loves you the same way. But we worship on a Saturday. You can come and pay us a visit. But let's this 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 50. If you are there, you can read. must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? 
or grave where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Did you hear that wonderful reading? We are assured. Because let me, let me tell you this bad news. I'm not a carrier of bad news, but let me tell you this bad news. Every one of us here, including I, standing before you, if Christ tarries, we'll die. Everyone here. Does that sink into your head? Everyone here. Whether you drive a pretty car, whether you live in a big house, whether you wear pretty shoes, or whatever, everyone here will die. Now, death has been something that has bedeviled humans right from sin came into the world. And people have been looking for answers to how to remedy death. How to remedy death. Everybody is going to die. The six feet, right? The casket. People were looking for explanations for it. And the Bible says that someday this corruptible body will put on incorruption. But the bottom line is Jesus is the only way, the truth and the life. He says, No man cometh unto the Father except true Jesus. Now, the first purpose of a memorial service like this is to remember the deceased. I've been here and I, and I see or I, I heard the genuine, genuine tribute to Robert McDowell. I know as a, as a child of God, I know when people lie about a dead man. I'm telling you, people sometimes lie about dead people. Jamaicans will say nothing or go so. But for Mr. Robert lying down here, I can see the genuine tribute about him. Some persons could not even express how they feel or how they felt right now. They could not express it. But all they could say is, he was a good man. Now, being a good man, saying he's a good man in his memorial service, you are remembering all the precious times that you had with him. All the hello that he would have said to you. Right? All the little kind words that you would have heard from him. And even a guy came up and said, you know, my wife thinks that Mr. Robert is my father. Now, one of the things that we need in Jamaica today is we need men who can be mentors to younger children, to younger generations. And if we have such men in Jamaica, Brother Robert, this country will be one of the best countries in the world. When Jesus wants to get away from the busy schedules and all that, he goes into Bethany, you know, just to cool off. You know, probably they would have cooked a little aki. Uh, dumpling for him. Now, when they needed him most, Brother Robert, they sent a message. They were so sure that if he comes, their brother will not die. But Jesus had something else in mind for the family. Give you thanks for, for your love that surpasses our understanding. The loving Lord, we want to put the family of uh, Brother McDowell before you right now. We want to give you thanks, Lord, that you are the peacekeeper. And this afternoon, we ask that you will give them your peace that only you can give. Father, in the midst of the turmoil and the unease that they may face right now, they might be looking to the right, to the left. We ask that they will look up to you, whom is the art and finisher of their faith. We want to pray a special prayer for those amongst the family who would not have made that decision to follow you all the way. 
we want to ask that in light of what has come upon their family, the cold hands of death on their loved ones, their father, they will recognize that death is an appointment. And Father, you have given us the remedy for death, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ. We pray, dear Lord, as we journey to the place of internment, that your spirit will journey with us. We ask, loving Father, that you will be with us, you will guide us, and you will protect us. In your precious son's name we pray. Amen. Our sessional hymn is, Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the faithful lightning of his terribly swift card. His truth is marching on. <laughs> Mine eyes have seen the glory of the Lord. My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He's simpering the path of well. The beauty of the lily cross was called across the sea. Rose in the bosom, it tries to erect you and me. As he died. Say to that. I make a free. God is marching on. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. It's good is marching on. One more time, glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. It's good is marching on. Glory, glory. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. This truth is marching on. Is marching on. May the love of the Father, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest, remain, and abide with us now, both now and forevermore. Amen.
Yeah, bless up schoolers. Close our eyes as we ask God thanks to bring us here. Father in heaven, thank you for bringing us here. No matter what we do, dear Father, you send your son, dear Jesus, to die for us on the cross. And by so doing, dear Jesus, it is so good that we can be here to witness the committal of Brother Robert McDowell. The name Robert sends a very special thing to me that, and tell me that he's a special person because my name is Robert and the meaning for Robert is precious jewels. And now we see a precious jewel is going under the earth. And in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, reading from verse 13 onward, it says, I would not have you ignorant Virgin, concerning these things, to them which are asleep, for they saw not. For if they believe that, if we believe that Jesus Christ has died and rose again, even so we shall be risen. For in this way we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that which we are alive and remain, we shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the year someday. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. Not Donald Trump, the trumpet of God. And Christ himself shall be there. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together in the earth and be with the Lord. After this form, I say unto you, be of good courage. For as so much as we love dear brother Robert McDowell, in the love of Christ and the love of our brethren, with wisdom it permits me, it permits me to say, Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. For someday, if we be true and faithful, one day we will see Brother McDowell. So it bids us, while we are on earth, live and be at peace with all men, so that when death comes, we can have a part in God's kingdom at the first resurrection. So who want to say goodbye, Brother McDowell? Can't say goodbye for now. Because he's here. Alright? And ask you to follow your program. There are some choruses that you can sing and also some choruses that other person might might be asked to 
we might ask somebody to give us some word. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, this is the hymnal, the, the, the hymn song, and Christ shall be no more. Ready? When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and Christ shall be no more, and the moon breaks eternal bright and fair. When the same on earth shall gather to their own beyond the sun, and the rolling stone of thunder and the Everybody, when the road is called up yonder, 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 I'll be there. On the bright and cloudless morning, when the dead and cursed will rise, and the morning makes his turn to bright and fair. And the roll is called up yonder every day. Everybody, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder every day.
God of heaven. Declare this journey, my God, to the earth with traffic and the person of God. No, be about to leave. Oh, God, so many of us come with me for Robert the God. He alone ought to be the earth standing. Yes. God, we are no way back. Guide us, your Father. Take the deacons in charge. Mm. Lord, come on. Oh, Turn in mercy, let God ask of you today. And give us the strength, my God. God, yes, 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 yes. That we will serve you. Lift up the wonderful. Bless your God. Family, bind them close together. Link them like a link of chain. We shall never be broken. Oh, hallelujah to your wonderful name. My God of heaven, give them strength, give them courage. Let this, my God, be a reunion to the family, dear God. That my God, if anyone else a part of the family, oh God, in this condition today. I pray, my God, that as they come here to their Father God, to let their loved ones go. I pray, my God, that on the resurrection day, Yes. Once his soul was right there, Father, we shall be meeting at the bank of the beautiful river. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus, come here. Welcome home. Yes, sir, Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory mm. to God. Have a time protection. Mm.